Okay, just making a little quick video. Uh, Justin and Brandon came over a little bit ago and they put the island in. And I thought I'd, I came around and over and uh, they had it already in. But that's it right there. Um, it's just a little small island. It's only 34 inches wide. It's going to have a 36 inch top on it. But it leaves enough room to walk through beside the refrigerator and that cabinet there. And then on this side... It leaves you enough room to walk through on this side. Let's see, I got a ruler on my side. I'll measure and tell y'all exactly how much. There's uh, about going to be about 33 inches to walk through. So it's still a good walkway. Um, it's not too bad with the countertop coming out. It's it's gonna it's gonna be about 30, maybe 32. So uh, there it is. We put a drawer in it. Uh, I helped Brennan draw up all this. is actually the same as my island at my house. So uh, it's got the uh, drawer here. It's got fully extendable. You know, the drawer comes all the way out. Actually a little past. And then it has the um, shelves down here that'll I actually have two in mine but you can actually pull it all the way out too so that when you I put canned goods in mine, and then I have another shelf, same, a little bit higher, that has, you know, I put all my canned goods in. So, uh, there we go. Uh, the only thing that me and Brennan so far is kind of went on that we wish we would have done different is um, we have the face of these. All of them are plywood on the faces here, which is... Good, I mean, it's it's actually will be probably just as good as if we would have had solid, you know, lumber. Uh, we, I mean, like I say, all these edges are plywood. It actually stays straighter than dimensional lumber, just, you know, regular old poplar that we made the doors out of because some of these doors have some curve to them. There's nothing to do about it. I mean, it's... We bought the stuff at Lowe's, and it's not the best um, lumber. But there it is. Um, I just thought I would show you all the island. Like I say, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, my son was saying it. He did, he was like, God, there's a lot of room between, you know, the sink and the island. What do you think we're to do? I, we lined it up with that um, end of that cabinet there. The reason I told him I would leave it there is because the stove's going to be right in here. And if you see, this cabinet here is kind of just barely over this way to that cabinet. That way you can open up the stove all the way. You know, the oven, I mean. Uh, it'll be a stove-oven combo. So that way you can open up the oven all the way and have the door laying down, getting stuff out of it. And then you can reach. Usually you probably stand on this side, reach in and get your food pull it out and then walk over to your island and set it down. Um, he has some hot plate things that they have that's kind of like wrought iron that they set on top, but I don't know, but that's their stuff to do. Um, but there it is. As uh, soon as we can get, I got a guy, I called a guy the, last night about coming and painting them. Um, I don't think me and him's going to attempt to paint. I think we're going to let somebody else do it. Um, I tried to talk him into doing stain gray and staining them and actually doing real oak, you know, fronts and all and real oak doors and, you know, and raised panels. But he was like, no, we want to paint them this time. So, But there they are. I mean, you really get a really good picture of uh, where the island's going to be at. It's center ways of the uh, dead center of the window there. So, um, the window is in the center of the room, so it's in the center. So, it turned out really nice. I mean, once we get them all painted up and get everything done, uh, we'll be able to, you know, I'll get some more video of when they're painted and then once we get the appliances in. We still got to build our wall here. Uh, Justin had to go, so. Him and Brandon's got to finish that up. I say we a lot of times. They're doing most of the work. I'm just sitting back doing the drawings, and when they about to screw up, I tell them when they about to screw up. So 
Well, they're getting pretty knowledgeable about building cabinets now. They this is like I say their third set that they've built. So uh, moving along pretty good on learning this cabinet stuff. So ah, right, well, y'all have a good one.